Airbnb is an online marketplace. We have over 5 million different homes in 81,000 cities, which equates to hundreds of millions of photos, making it possibly the largest collection of images of homes in the world today. When a guest decides to select a home, one of the biggest influences in their decision is a diverse set of images. But a lot of times hosts will take a lot of pictures of a single room and forget to take pictures of the other rooms. They also have the option to add captions, but a lot of cases they're totally off. Yeah. We were faced with the challenge of identifying what's actually in these pictures and present them properly on the site. That's one area where machine learning excels. The real challenge was one of scale. We had upwards of you know, half a billion images to get through. It was going to take months to really go through all of these. Using TensorFlow, we were able to speed up the process and deliver a reasonable model within days. Big Head is Airbnb's machine learning platform. We had the idea of making it very agnostic to different ML frameworks. And so we leveraged TensorFlow to train the model. And then Big Head helps with the model lifecycle, the feature management, and then TensorFlow serving to help serve the model results. Before you think about which tool to use, you first think about which model to use, right? And we did research on this. We find that ResNet 50 was one of the state-of-the-art performing models. We used that as the basic architecture. We used TensorFlow's uh, Keras APIs and serving and some of the distributed GPU computations. This ultimately led to a, a pipeline that we can deploy to go through hundreds of millions of images very quickly. So the end goal is basically using these classifications of images to make sure that their first initial set of photos that they see aren't just a picture of the garage and bathroom, but it could be of the living room that's gorgeous in the bedroom and the swimming pool. Future applications could be to detect different objects in homes, and if users decide to search on the website for specific amenity types, you can actually bubble that up to the surface. If you like how Airbnb operates today, the reason was because of machine learning, because machine learning is almost everywhere in the company. Search ranking, pricing, predicted booking. We're passing into the hundreds of models, so it's something I expect to keep growing. And with a lot of these new frameworks coming out, we can make better experiences for our guests and better business decisions as well.